Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Unreal Engine developers have no doubt been waiting for this video with bated breath because it is the first Tuesday of the month and the question is, are we going to get an Unreal Engine giveaway? If you're not a regular to this channel, you may not know, first Tuesday of every month, uh, Unreal Engine or Epic Games gave away uh, generally five assets that were yours to keep free forever. So example, here you can see the October giveaway that we just had. But the thing is, in the meantime, they moved over to something called Fab. Now, Fab is their new universal asset store. It's a combination of the Unreal Engine Marketplace, Sketchfab, Quixel, and other sites all amalgamated together. And now it's not just for Unreal Engine developers. But the thing is, first Tuesday of the month, are the giveaways going to keep happening? And now we're going to play a game called... Good news, bad news, good news, bad news, good news, bad news, good news, bad news. <laughs> All right. So, uh, good news. We are having a giveaway. Bad news. There is going to be less assets. We're going to see three this month instead of five. Although this month is the wrong word to say. I shouldn't stay, stay this week because now we're going to have two giveaways per month. So every two weeks, first Tuesday and then two weeks after Tuesday, uh, we are going to have giveaways. Now, generally, it's probably going to be three items given away each time. So you're going to have a small window of time to get them uh, but more opportunities to get stuff now uh, some of the assets unfortunately are also going to be personal licensing that means if you are making over a certain threshold of money they're not that useful to you but the final bit of good news is sometimes the assets won't just be for unreal engine developers they will also be for other game managers as you will notice already there is unity and unreal editor for fortnite content on fab as well and hopefully we see godot and other game engines out there plus you've also got the ability to do um uh, FBX or GLB and so on that you never had before. So these videos should now be more interesting to um, a broader audience because it's not just for Unreal Engine developers. By the way, there's always been a way uh, to export things out from Unreal Engine to other engines. I've got those covered in links down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. So even if the free asset from this month is not necessarily for your game engine of choice, you should still be able to check it out. So this is last month's stuff. This month's stuff should be here by the time this video goes live and now let's go take a look at this month's free three assets i said that wrong free assets the three free assets for this month i want to suppose i should stop saying this month for this half of the month so again stay tuned two tuesdays from now we will have a new video with new assets and if you're not already subscribed hey now would be a good time all right so here we are on the first of the free assets. This is the forest animals pack. Uh, right now you see boars. Not to bore you. <laughs> uh, so it is one of the animals in this pack. You're actually going to notice uh, there are several animals here. So that was boar. Uh, we also have bears. So check out the bears quickly. Like so. So they're animated, textured, and so on. So there's bears. Uh, and then we've got uh, deer, stag, and doe, uh, which is actually kind of funny because in Canada, stag and doe is like a, a bachelor party for the guy and the girl. But yeah, so here you see stag and doe here, again, all animated like so. So if you need animals, uh, this is a good pickup for you. The downside is this one is on the personal license. We'll get back to that in just a second. And then on top of that, we've also got fox, rabbit, and wolf. I'm going to have to see the rabbit, and then we'll move on from here. So here you can see Waskly Wabbits in a variety of different animations. I still think rabbits are among the cutest animals on Earth, especially when they're doing this. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, that is the first one. Uh, it is the Forest Animals Pack. The next one is this one. This is Fresh Can 3D, the Military Airport, Military Base, and Military Props Pack. We'll just fly around this scene. Uh, it is basically what you see here. So uh, a staging base area. We've got some, uh, you know, tower observation areas. We've got random uh, boxes full of stuff. Uh, we have uh, some buildings here without interiors, uh, some shipping containers and so on. Let's go check out the overview of this one. Now, I do think that this has been featured in a Humble Bundle in the past. Um, so you may already own this one if you are a prolific collector of Humbles like myself. I mean, an idea of all of the assets included in this particular pack. 
like so. So a variety of different things. By the way, again, it is super, super simple to get these things exported to other game engines. And there are some tools that make it super easy for you. So go ahead and check that out down below if you're interested in that. All right, so that is pack number two. And then our third and final object is the Hyper Outliner and Symbol System V2. So uh, this is all about outlining. So let's go ahead. We'll run the example right here. So if you want to do uh, outline around the edge of a character, that is what this guy is capable of doing. You get instructions here on setting up your project, uh, adding an outliner to your character, blueprint handling for it, and so on. But we can see actual demonstrations of it over here. So again, outlining, so stenciling around things. Like so, three different ways of doing so. Toggling any outline type. So we got the button here for doing so. Like that. Uh, toggle on action event, left mouse button. will tra will try to trace and hit on the toggle outline. There you see. So if you need to do outlines around your character, that is what this is all about. And then you'll notice also you have symbols. So if you got that, that quest NPC that you want to have in your game, uh, this functionality provides that as well. Scene depth, so you can see how it handles behind another surface with the outline there. And finally, it works on sprites. So that is the outliner. So it's called Hyper Outliner and Symbol System V2. Uh, that's it for the hands-on portion. So again, they are all available on Fab now. They should be under the free for this month category by the time this video goes live. The first one was Fresh Cans Military Airport uh, Base and Props, the most straightforward assets you've seen here. Uh, I think it's going to be under personal license as well, but I'm not 100% certain which one this is actually going to end up being. And this is one of the changes that's unfortunate. So again, we'll talk about that. Let's talk about it right now, actually. You can see right here, this is for individual creators or a small team with not more than 100,000 of revenue or funding in the last 12 months. So I don't know which one this one is going to actually be under. Uh, each giveaway, they could potentially be under either personal or under professional, so it really comes down to the giveaway in question. I think this one is professional, but I don't want to be quoted on that one. Uh, the Hyper Outliner system, same deal. Uh, hopefully this one is under professional. For these prices, you almost have to assume it will be. And this is for doing those outline type things around your character. And then finally, we have the Forest Animal Pack, and this one is obviously under the personal license because that's the only option that's there. So this is one of those areas where the giveaways definitely uh, got worse in some regards because you never cared about this before. There's no such thing as a personal license before. Now, what version they give away is going to be determined by each week. Uh, and again, if you're, if you're an indie or a small developer, it's not going to affect you. But if you're in a bigger development environment, the free versions are often just not going to be usable to you. Uh, so you see here, again, um, we have the Hyper Outliner system. We have the uh, Military Airport. Now, what's interesting about this Military Airport, what you'll notice here is it's available for uh, Unreal Engine and Unity. So if you can come in here, you can download it as a Unity asset package uh, and use this directly in your Unity game matches. So for each version, you're gonna see what it's for. Now this one is implemented primarily with blueprints, I believe. So obviously it is only useful for Unreal Engine. And then this one is for Unreal Engine only. But this one here is going to be Unity and Unreal. And again, there are ways to get these into other game engines such as Godot. Check those links out down below. Uh, so that is the new structure. In two weeks, we're going to have a new set of giveaways for, um, again, generally three items I'm expecting. Uh, and a little bit more detail of this change. This was posted on the Fab community for uh, their developer section. Uh, UE Marketplace sponsored content was an important and much loved feature of the marketplace. If you're not familiar with the sponsored content program, there was an initiative where we partnered with sellers on the Unreal Engine market to offer free content to the community for a period of time. The program allows sellers to boost their revenue and reach new audience and buyers to acquire a lot of awesome uh, products for free. Um, we're happy to share that this continues on Fab in a similar format. Here's what is changing from the things that worked things worked on UE Marketplace. Uh, more frequent releases, new sponsored content will be available every two two weeks and featured for two weeks. So the publishers will have more opportunities to be featured and Fab's community of creators has more great content to choose from. A greater variety of file formats. So sponsored listings may now include more file formats, including Unreal Engine Unity and an assortment of 3D formats. 
Um, new payout structure for payouts for participants is a one-time payment of up to 5,000 USD. Payout amount will depend on various factors, including but not limited to selected products, complexity, level of detail, quality, or sorry, quantity of file formats on offer and product category. So if you want to get listed, that is the system that they are going with now. So that is uh, it, ladies and gentlemen, the new fab marketplace giveaways. Definitely some good and bad, good and bad, good and bad, good and bad, but it's great that they're continuing this. So let me know what you think of this. And hopefully for every video in the future, I'll be able to tell you if it's the personal or um, professional version. I just don't have that information this time. All right, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.